Hello everyone, I am Hiram Gupta and today we will be talking about X-rays. This video is presented by me and my team members Aniket Ghosh, Rudhujani Panikar, Manav Devekar and Sanjidi Patil. Firstly, let's talk about the history of X-rays. It is not known by many people that X-rays was discovered by accident. The famous German physicist William Rontgen noticed that when a beam of electron is incident on a fluorescent material, the fluorescent material starts to glow. When he asked his wife to place her hand in front of the electron tube, the silhouette of her bones was seen. So now let's look at some facts. There are three types of rays which are emitted from a radioactive material, which are namely alpha rays, beta rays and gamma rays. Gamma rays are also called as X-rays. X-rays have a frequency of approximately 1020 Hz. So now let's talk about the production of X-rays. X-rays can be produced with the help of a high vacuum tube, a heater, cathode and anode. A special electron tube that is a vacuum tube is used for the production of X-rays. Such a tube has a hot filament cathode and an anode made up of very heavy metal. Electrons flow from the cathode to the anode as in any diode tube. However, large DC voltage is used between cathode and anode of the X-ray tube. When the heater is on and a very high anode to cathode voltage is applied, the electrons are emitted from cathode and travel toward the anode with very high velocity. This beam of electron strikes the metal anode at such speed that new rays are made from the slanting surface of the anode. These X-rays seem to bounce sideways and th out throughout the well of the tube. The first element of the X-ray machine is the high voltage rectifier. This rectifier rectifies the high voltage produced by the high voltage transformer and supplies them to the anode of the X-ray tube where the X-rays are produced. These X-rays after being produced are passed through the aluminium filter. The unwanted frequencies in the X-ray base create side effects. To eliminate these effects, aluminium filter is used. The rays then pass through the collimator. The purpose of the collimator is to reduce the patient dosage. This is done as it confines the X-rays only to the region of interest of the patient on the body. After this, when the X-rays are incident on the patient's body, the patient's body creates X-ray scattering which tends to burn the image. To absorb scattered X-rays and avoid the image burning, a lead grid is used which is also called as a diaphragm. X-rays after passing from the body are made to strike on the film that is the lead shield where they produce an image of soft and hard parts of the body. So now let's look at some application of X-rays. X-rays are used to detect fraction in bones, used to detect injuries and infection in various parts of the body, used to treat tumors, and used to measure thickness of various materials. This is done as when the object or the body whose treatment or detection has to be done is placed in the midway of X-rays and the fluorescent screen. These are the few images of portable and fixed X-ray machines. The portable X-ray is also used in operation theatres. It should be noted that X-ray table always requires a separate room. Salient features of portable X-ray machines. Portable X-ray machines can be used in sports medicines, veterinary medicine, and hospitals and clinics. They have a high dose yield and shorter exposure time. That is, the dose yields is over 60% more than conventional two pulse generators. They have optimum utilization of X-ray tube. That is, high frequency technology ensures longer tube life. It has a improved image quality as shorter exposure time reduce kinetic blurring giving sharp radiographs. It also has low skin dose as soft radiation is suppressed to reduce the unwanted skin dose. Now let's look at the advantages and disadvantages. Some of the advantages are, it is a cheaper and a simpler technique. It has low radiation as compared to a CT scan. It helps to locate alien objects inside or around the bones. It helps to diagnose tumors easily without the need of the surgery. Now let's look at some disadvantages. It does not provide 3D informations. Bones can block significant diagnostic data as it absorbs the radiation. It does not produce the best image but produces a medium quality image. Let's look at the technical specifications of a portable X-ray machine that is a Siemens Multimobile 2.5. It has an output power of 2.5 kW, an output wave of high frequency and a maximum ripple of 5 kV. The kV range is from 40 kV to 100 kV. The milliampere range is from 13 milliamperes to 63 milliamperes. The exposure time is from 20 milliseconds to 5 seconds. The exposure technique is a two-point technique. The focal spot is of 1.5 millimeter 
into 1.5 millimeter. Its basic unit dimensions are 65 into 142 into 142 centimeters. The weight of the total unit is 147 kgs. So now we know that though x-rays are not 100% safe, they are very useful for diagnosis if used in a safe and a controlled environment. So thank you for watching this video. Please like and share this video and comment your views in the comment section down below.